stop filming. You'd stop filming and start just let's press the start again. I'm gonna try this macaroni cheese, by the way. We have no more. What do you mean you have no more? They don't have tell you with the test one, right? Okay, okay, you're a genius. Oh. You want to hear? Oh, I'm Italian. I know about pasta. Service is almost done, and the cooks are all hoping Gino will choose their dish as the winner and secure a place on the restaurant's menu for one month. Okay, guys, we're done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. So, how do you feel? Very good. Very, very good. Yeah? Yes. You think it went well? Yes. yes. Your family are going to be so proud. They're going to be so proud. So proud. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Now it's time to wash it up. She's watching. She's watching. She's watching. She's watching. Trust me, she's watching. And everybody's watching. Come on, wash it up. Don't think that I'm going to clean up for you. Everybody, please. Don't look like that. Wash it up. Wash it up. Service is over, and our cooks have done all they can to try and secure their dish a place on the restaurant's menu for a month. It's now up to the diners, the restaurant manager Francesco, and Jonas, the executive head chef, to help Gino make his difficult decision. The Trinidadian Sunday feast was home cooking rather than restaurant cooking, I'd say. But there, were, there was a very nice combination of flavours. Well, I had the bunny chow, and I thought it was absolutely delicious for me. It was the bread that did it. I am not a rice lover, but the bread. In fact, I was still eating when they came to clean the plate to us. I had the harvest pie, the egg and bacon that was in it. Uh, was lovely. Uh, the pastry was superb. I'm not a big salad fan, but I actually ate the salad as well, so whatever they grizzled on the salad was superb, I suppose. And, you know, I would eat it again. Well, the diners seem to have enjoyed it, but which dish will Gino pick? Will it be Jane Colbrook with her traditional egg and bacon pie that conjures up memories of a Hertfordshire harvest over 50 years ago? It would just be wonderful to think that this, this recipe that's been going for so long can still exist all these years later in its simplicity. You know, it would mean everything to me. Or Ray Mahabir with his Trinidadian Sunday feast made up of three delicious elements dating back over 200 years. It's about my Trinidad culture. I'll be very proud to know that my dish is on the menu in a place like this. Or can Charlene Moodley win with her Durban bunny chow, a curry that crossed two continents over 150 years ago to become one of South Africa's favourite foods? Gina welcomes the cooks into the restaurant for them to find out which heritage dish will win a place on the menu. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. I have to say it's been a tough day, but it's been amazing. Did you enjoy the oh, experience? Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Do you think you want to do it again? I'd love to do it again. Yeah? What about you? It what do you think? Fun. I don't know if I'd do it again. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I'll try. Because it's fun, isn't it? To be in a professional kitchen, it's very different to be in, a, in no, your home. Yelling at me. Yeah. I wasn't yelling. I was trying to pull. I wasn't yelling. I wasn't yelling. No, I wasn't. I was trying to pull my. You know, my point across. What about you, Ray? Was I yelling? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to make sure that your food was perfect to go to these ladies and gentlemen. That's the only thing I was trying to do. Okay? Thank you. Now, of course, you all did very well, but there is only the place for one winner. One winner who's going to have the dish on this London restaurant for one month. Mm, I have to say, it hasn't been easy this time because I loved all the dishes. Your curry, the flavor, amazing. Your tart, it was incredible, well presented, simple, but good flavor. Your chicken 